We take another example from the Hogg, McCain and Craig's books that is application number 7.4.6 A part. The statement of this question, let a random, let a random sample of size n taken from a distribution of the discrete type. Now we are considering a discrete distribution so that you can easily understand how we can handle the discrete type of random variables for the completeness. With the probability mass that is 1 over theta and x ranges from 1, 2 up to theta, 0 elsewhere, where theta is an unknown positive integer. So what we need to show that? Show that the largest observation say y n of a sample is complete sufficient statistic for theta. So for this discrete type of distribution we have to show that it is a sufficient as well as it is a complete statistic for theta. So, let's move further to solve this. So, first we have to find the distribution of the largest observation for the discrete random variable. So, in case of discrete random variable, the distribution of the largest observation say y that is actually y of n is for the discrete type of distribution that that is let's say y is equal to small y and that can be written as probability of y less than or equal to y minus probability of y less than or equal to y minus 1. So, that is the way how we can find the distribution of the largest observation for the discrete random variable. Let us say for the n observations that can be written as y less than or equal to y raised to power n minus probability y less than or equal to y minus 1 raised to power n. Now, the distribution function of this that is y over theta that is very simple. So, we just put the values of this one that is uh, y over theta raised to power n minus y minus 1 over theta raised to power n. So, we can write it as that is y raised to power n minus y minus 1 raised to power n over theta raised to power n. So, the giant distribution, the giant distribution of the sample probability mass function is that is probability of x is equal to x and that is equal to 1 over theta raised to power n for x1, x2 up to xn. Now, by using the factorization theorem, factorization theorem that the probability x is equal to x our probability of y is equal to y if it is equal to h of x independent of theta. We say that we say that y is sufficient statistic or theta. So, probability x is equal to x or probability of y is equal to y that is equal to so that is actually 1 over theta raised to power n and that is actually y raised to power n minus y minus 1 raised to power n over theta raised to power n. So, when we simplify it, we get 1 over y raised to power n minus y minus 1 raised to power n. 
so this is free from theta so it means that it is free from theta so it means that y is equal to y n is sufficient statistic or theta now to show that y is a complete so we have to find the expected value of g of y that is equal to 0 for all theta and this implies that g is equal to 0 almost surely now the expected value of g of y that is actually sum y is from 1 to theta that is g of y into its pdf that is y raised to power n minus y minus 1 raised to power n over theta raised to power n that is equal to 0 and this implies that actually if we put the value of g of 1 we get 1 if we put g is equal to 2 we get 2 raised to power n minus 1 and so on up to so on it will give us g of y that is equal to 0 because ye jo pehli ka 1 hai aur jo dusre se minus 1 aaye aapas mein cancel out hote jayenge similarly jab 3 ke liye karenge to agla factor jo 2 raised to power n hai ye 2 raised to power minus 2 raised to power n se cancel out ho jayega to in the end jo hamare paas net result banega that is g of y wo 0 ke barabar aa jayega for all theta that is equal to 1, 2, up to so on. So, this reflects that y is complete statistic. And that is what actually we want to prove.